Hola amores, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Christina, tu es una favorita que maquilla. And in today's tutorial, this is an end of summer bright colorful look. I'm trying to get all my uh, bright looks in before the summer's over and we move on to the fall. So if you guys would like to see how I did this here look, just keep on watching. So I'm going to do something different today. I'm actually going to do this as a voiceover and see how this goes. So I'm using the BH Take Me Back to Brazil palette and I'm starting off with that deep blue shade and I'm just packing that into my crease and then I'm also going to do like a V shape downwards onto my lid. So here I moved on to the other eye. There are certain types of like techniques I just always have a hard time with because my eyes are hooded. So I don't know, I feel like they just don't ever really come out right, but I still try it anyways. So continuing with the same palette, I'm taking the three next colors I'm going to use and I'm gonna follow that same V shape and just kind of layer on each additional color. So I'm first gonna start out with the light blue, then the green, and then the yellow shade. So now I'm moving on to the green and just kind of blending that out with the lighter blue shade and following that same V shape around my eyes. And lastly, I'm using the yellow shade and again, following the same shape. And that is the last uh, color that will be blended in here. Next, I'm taking my NYX Cosmetics eyeshadow base. It is a white base and I'm going to cut my crease with this. Now I'm going into the Masquerade palette from Juvia's Place and I'm going to take this blue shade which I actually ended up mixing with the darkest shade at the end of that row and putting that on the inner portion of my lid. Now I'm taking the lighter blue and blending that in next to the darkest blue. Next in line is this greenish shade and I'll put that next to the turquoise blue. Now switching palettes, I'll be going in with the Milkshake palette from Bombshell Cosmetica and I'll be using that gold shade there and putting that on that last remaining little white space on my lid. And then I'll also be putting that on my brow bone area and also in my inner tear ducts area. So I actually ended up making kind of like a glitter liner with that eyeshadow. So it turned out pretty well. And now moving on to the face, I'm taking the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. This is the color 400 Caramel and I'm just going to put some pumps of this all over my face. You know, I don't always reach for this foundation as much as I should, but this match though, it's like almost perfect. I definitely need to start using it more. Now for concealer, I'm taking my Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer and I'm taking the color C21 to highlight on my face and then I'm taking C24, I believe, to contour. And now we're going to start blending the highlights and the contour all out. These Jeffree Star concealers are quite nice. The consistency isn't as thick as like the Fenty ones, um, which is fine. And they do blend out pretty nicely. So I do like using them. Thank you. 
And now to set the highlight, you already know what powder I'm using, the Fenty Beauty uh, setting powder in the color banana. And today I'm using a sponge to do it, which I don't usually do. I've only done it like once before, but after seeing how it came out today, I'm like, hold up. I need to start doing this a little more often. Like it looks really nice. I don't know why I haven't been doing this. And next to set the contour, I'm taking the True Complexion Contour Kit um, from Black Radiance. And I'm just going to alternate between the two darkest shades. And yeah, just contour my face. Get that face looking snatched. Now for my blush, I'm using my other palette that I always use, the Juvia's Place um, Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette, and I'm taking the Coral Shade Towel. I always tend to use that shade whenever I have like blues and greens on my eyes. So going back to the eyes, I'm taking this green eyeliner from Georgiana Cosmetics, and I'm just going to put that in my waterline. And then going into the milkshake palette again, I'm going to take that gold shade and put that, you know, on like the first uh, inner third of the bottom of my eyes. And then I'm going back to the masquerade palette and putting that hot pink in the center of the bottom of my eyes. Lastly, I'll go in with the deep purple in the masquerade palette and put that on the outer third of the bottom of my eyes. And now for my highlight, I'm taking my favorite yellow gold highlighter, which is the Kilowatt Highlight from uh, Fenty Beauty in the color Trophy Wife. So I'm just going to put this on my cheeks, a little bit on my nose, and on my cupid's bow. Now for my lips, I'm taking this liquid lipstick from uh, Lime Crime, which does anybody even use Lime Crime anymore? They're called Velveteens. This is the color Red Rose. I actually really like their liquid lipsticks. They're like a thinner, more, you know, watery consistency, but they still look really nice and they're easy to work with and they're pretty long lasting. And now, just to get a little more extra, I'm going to take this Milani Intense Bronze Glow. This is like, you know, another body glow like the um, Fenty Body Lava. And we're just going to, you know, just put that all over our chest and arms and just get real glowy. Okay guys, and that completes this here look. I used the burger lashes from Bombshell Cosmetica. And yeah, I had not been planning on putting pink and purple at the bottom of my eyes. That was kind of a last minute decision, but I'm glad I did. And I feel like it ties in well together with the lip color. Alright guys, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll check y'all in the next one. Bye!